And for those that say love should be celebrated every says Hey guys, you're welcome to another time with your girl, the love dispenser. Welcome and good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Just collect the greeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah you're welcome back i trust our week has been wonderful yes today is the 13th of february 2022 and tomorrow is valentine's day oh she will die <laughs> please don't mind me i love love anything that is love anything that is heart shaped and red you know all those cozy cool stuff you know I love love diary. So I'm wishing you happy Valentine in advance. And for those that said love should be celebrated every day, of course, love should be celebrated every day. But because tomorrow is Lover's Day, Love Day, I'm wishing you happy Valentine and I love you all. And um I want to say something very quickly. So Valentine's Day is to celebrate love, of course. And God's kind of love does not select. God kind of love, God's kind of love is not just for husband and wives, not for people that are just dating or cutting. So you expand or extend your love to everyone around you. Okay? Extend your love to everyone around you. Even as much as you're getting roses for her, in as much as you're getting perfumes for him, and all the oh cozy stuff, extend your hand to your neighbor by your side and excuse me god's love is whole and sane love is not sex love is not immorality love is expressed with a good conscience and a pure heart and a sincere faith so please let's not be confused let's be guided <laughs> let's be guided as you celebrate love know that love is not sex young lady no you don't need to prove your love to him by sleeping with him oh no 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 that's not love okay he will leave you <laughs> definitely of course we all know these things we all know these things most times it's just that we don't want to go with it. but I'm telling you I want to confirm what you've already heard that love is not sex so celebrate the Valentine's Day with your loved ones with a sincere faith, a pure heart, and a good conscience. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, so back to where we are today. The gist for today is hot, 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 hot. Hey, we are going to be talking about something very important. As a married person, as singles, as everybody, you need to learn this thing. It's a common sense, something you need to know. Because this thing has disturbed so many persons. Oh God, it has killed relationships. And even scattered marriages so we need to have the appropriate wisdom that will direct us to know how to act so who are we talking about or what are we talking about today we are talking about our in-laws hey in-laws <laughs> i've heard so many ladies say they want their mother-in-law to die before they get married ah auntie auntie like seriously if you're part of those persons just think about it you what if you 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 get married or oh, sorry your son gets married to a lady and you stumble on her in her room or anywhere praying oh god let my mother in law die how would you feel yay please that is that is from the pit of hell so we have this this mentality especially where i come from in nigeria ahada there is this thing that has been embedded in our minds that in-laws are crazy and terrible people especially mother-in-laws you know those nigerian movies that we watch mother-in-laws are the one giving wahala so before i get into what i want to say i want you to debunk that theory from your mind in-laws are the best kind of people you can never have mm-hmm yeah yeah and i'm going to teach you how to get the best in-laws not because you're going around selecting in-laws but because you have them and you you have the wisdom to make them the best and be the best to them okay so debunk that theory from your mind that in-laws are bad your mother-in-law is a witch and all that no you go to play that day your mother-in-law is the one killing you your mother 
Hey, look at me very well. I have the best mother-in-law in the world. In the world. You can't think of it. In the world. <laughs> in the world. Like, I can go to sleep literally with her. Even with my baby. I can go and sleep. The other thing that you don't put the baby inside the car and drive it. <laughs> I can go to sleep. Like serious, I'm serious. I am. Oh God, I'm serious. But maybe okay. You know, some some people just say I'm just trying to hype. I'm not hype, you know. Of course, I'm a Christian. I can't lie. Okay, I have the best mother-in-law. But how did it start? First of all, I want you to know that prayer answers all things. Okay. So before I got married. I told myself that I'm going to have the best mother-in-law. So first thing, first, prayer. Even as a single, prayer. 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 Do you know the mother-in-law that other, the woman that other persons might be saying is, ha, wicked, this, 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 might be an angel to you. Do you know that? Prayer can do things. As a young lady, as a young man, newly married, oddly married, you can pray things into how you want it. I prayed. I told God that my mother-in-law would be the best. My mother-in-law would be the best. I will not have issues with my mother-in-law. I'm going to be my mother-in-law's darling. She's going to be my who? Oh, she's going to be my mother. Do you understand? I made that prayer sincerely from my heart. Number one, I said prayer. And I decided in my heart to be a good girl. Mm -hmm. I decided in my heart to be what? A good girl. I didn't come with that mentality of her. I will pepe her. <laughs> I, will pe I will show her that me, I don't take nonsense. I didn't come with that mentality. You know, that is, you know, when, when we listen to the wrong things and uh, we act in the wrong way. So probably you've been sitting down and be sitting in a company that talks about how they deal with their own mother-in-law. You, you have, you've won your armor, sheet, arrow everything that we mean you enter this marriage you're going to show your mother you're going to show your sister-in-laws and your brother-in-laws pepe pepe them auntie remove those shields you will not it will not help you it will not help you those that are showing their pepe how far have they gone it will help you you know it's easier and it's sweeter to be at peace than to always be in trouble with people eh? because you expend so much energy trying to show them pepe than being at peace. Of course, being at peace don't need any energy. Do you need energy to be at peace? You expect so many time you will use to think about something fruitful. You're thinking of how you will prepare your in-laws. Prayer. I said, prayer. Pray. Ask God for the best. For the best. I know you, we are dealing with humans and some humans can be difficult and all that. But we'll get to that point on how to deal with those kind of persons. Do you get? Prayer. So you pray as a young lady, remove that mentality of my mother-in-law, I want her to die or if she's not dead, I will pepe her, I will have nothing to do with her. No, remove it from your mind, remove it totally from your mind. Pray, say, God, you will give me the best mother-in-law and I will be a beautiful daughter to her. Then secondly, wisdom. Hmm. Wisdom, I'm going to be saying so many things in this wisdom. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Like I said earlier, some persons can just be very difficult. Some persons can just be... You don't even understand why, why they are just being difficult. But my dear, there is no... You can imagine God saying, Ah, ah, the devil was too difficult for me to handle. No, 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 no. There is no human being on earth that cannot be handled. Let me say this in pidgin English. Mad person get friend. Even a mad person has a friend. So the mad person might be hostile to other people. But there is this one friend that he can, hey, that madness, when he's with the person, the madness will die. So wisdom. In using wisdom, number one thing you have to do is to be politely expressive. What do I mean by politely expressive? Say your mind in the very in the most polite way you can ever say it. Instead of picking in grudges, instead of 
piling them up of course if you keep piling up grudges your actions will tilt towards that way so for example your sister-in-law comes your sister-in-law comes to you and say i, I don't like uh, this did that if it disturbs you so much you can politely go and say ah sis i didn't like the way you talked to me rather than going to sulk and pick it add it to your bag of offense you know she talked to me like this i'll add it she did this one like this or the other way around is to shout back at her say hey, 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 why will you talk to me like hey, 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 who do you think you are who does she think she is hey, go, 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 and especially if you have a style lord that is ras like that too two wrong persons two wrong uh, um, things cannot make a right two wrong actions cannot make a right action so you politely expressive i don't like the way you talked to me that is where the spirit of god comes in of course if you see me you know that ah, i'm a kind of person that can be yeah 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 but there are some times that i ask the spirit of god to help me and i just find myself coming down to just express what i feel actually politely expressive there is no need to come and drag issues there is no need to open your mouth and say you want to show them there is no need you will expend so much energy and i also know that there are some people that you will still be politely expressive to and they will not see you for anything keep on being politely expressive like i said expressive so it's not I, i'm not a fan of someone insults me and i keep it i'm not a fan of that someone is ridiculing me i keep it someone is stepping down on me matching my head anyhow and i just keep it to myself in a bit to be humble that's not humility that's pretense do you get so humility means that i go to the person and say see the way you talk to me i really don't like it whether the person is shouting at, blah, 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 why, why are you blah, blah, blah. you've dropped your point i don't like it so that you will not go back uh, 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 piling up offenses piling up offenses so you not time one sister in law maybe when you when you come for a, a, a social gathering or an event in the family you are just timing her and also know that some persons don't really know how don't really know how raw they are so they just say it the way they are especially sanguines and choleris extroverts some people they just don't know they don't know that what they said just did not mean so well or did not go down so well with you so sometimes it's when you just come to them and tell them that oh this thing that you said i was not really okay with it i wasn't fine by it some of them will apologize like i i, I said some of them will apologize some of them might not see it as anything but you keep doing it not because you're a fool but because you want to maintain a sanity uh, you want to maintain your sanity in the home number two no pretense no pretense that is a wisdom way you should employ no pretense there is no need to pretend there is no need to pretend be who you are be who you are but in this being who you are doesn't mean that if you are rude of course i have zero tolerance for rude people especially rude ladies i have zero tolerance for rude ladies if you're rude as a lady watch it watch it so it doesn't mean that as i hey, she, i had of i had a, a a a lady say be yourself don't pretend and you carry your rudeness the raw as it is like that and say you are just being yourself that is the wrong way what i mean by being yourself is whatever uh, 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 you can do do it with the whole of your heart whatever you cannot do you can learn to do it and just say i, I can't do this what do I mean? Okay, I've seen so many instances where um, a lady that is one uh, that is just newly been married into the home, and you just come and you just sweep everywhere. You come, you clean the roof. Ah, you wash everything. You wash everything in the house and in the house. If you can, if that is your nature, fine. But if that is not your nature, see, let me tell you the implication. The implication is that in the long run. You will fuck, you'll be fucked out. In the run, long run, you'll be fucked out. And when you stop doing that initial gra gra things you started doing, people will see you as ah ah. So she was pretending. So there is no need to pretend. 
There is no need to pretend, young lady. Young man, there is no need to pretend. So you go to your in-laws place, maybe for the first time, you know you can do this, do it. Okay, I can do this one. Oh, hey, can you do this, do this one? Join, do anything you want to do. Don't come and do as per, hey, I want them to notice me. I want them to know that maybe there is another sister in law somewhere. Maybe you're not the only uh, uh, woman that they married in. You know, you want them to come and show. Ah, I want to show them that, hey, hey, I can do everything. They will love me in this house. If it is under the basis of pretense, you will fag out. You will be, uh. if it's under the basis of pretense, you will be fucked out sooner or later you'll be fucked out so please no pretense be yourself be yourself don't pretend to be who you are not don't pretend to be who you are not don't pretend the it goes either way so don't pretend to be so much of you know no eh? when somebody talks to you that's why i say be politely expressive when somebody talks to you say i'm fine i'm fine meanwhile it's hurting you inside there's no need for that though we are all adults. We are all mature. There is nothing wrong if you go and me say, please, I didn't like the way you talked to me. You really did not go down well with me. They are not going to slap you. They won't slap you. So don't there's no need to pretend as if you know, you know, everything in no way I'm fine. But deep within your heart, you are planning the next evil thing to do. Subtly voting, and there's no need to come and do as if your own is too much. You know, I don't take nonsense, I don't take nonsense. If they give me one, I give them ten. Meanwhile, you don't have ten to give, but because of what you've heard, there's no need to pretend. There's no need to pretend. Be yourself, be yourself. Number three, wisdom make sure you have something to bring to the table. Make sure, <laughs> make sure as a young man, as a young lady, make sure you have something to bring to the table. See, I'm taking myself from a, for, as an example. I have a male child today and he's, he's getting married or something. The girl is bringing, this is Niger. The girl is bringing, does not know how to cook. It's very dirty. Come, it's plus sauciness. She's dirty as a human being. I won't take it though. I won't take it. Then that is where you now say your mother-in-law is wicked. Your mother-in-law is an evil. Your mother-in-law is a witch. Your mother-in-law is this. What have you brought to the table? If you're not a cook like me, because me, I can sleep in the kitchen, I can cook. Uh, if you're not a cook like me, what can you do? If we get an event, if we come together, what can you offer? As people are putting in their bits and bits and here and there to make the whole um, occasion or make the whole family move forward, what can you do? Your own is your own just to come and sit down, cross leg and eat. That is where you see evil in-laws because nobody will tolerate that. So most times we don't think about others. We think about ourselves. She is rude. She's talking to me like a child. She's do 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 do. You auntie, what have you done? Nobody loves a lazy girl. Nobody loves a lazy man that will wake up and in the morning, the first thing you will ever think of doing is go to the freezer or go to the fridge and collect drink and sit down and be drinking. You know, and be looking for who will give you food or who is lazy like you for you to be talking. Nobody can tolerate that nonsense. Especially for the young ladies, for the new wives. Nobody can tolerate that nonsense. Me, I won't tolerate it though. You can't bring anything to the table. I'm not saying you should come and clean my house or jump on the roof. But at least contribute something. In fact, the society abhors vacuum. The society abhors nothingness. Like there is nothing you can bring to the table. Even in the society, nobody will accept you. People will see you as a rascal. Will see you as a non-entity. So don't get offended when you come to your in-laws place or together. You can't do anything. And you say they are shouting at you. They are wicked. They are this. They are that. They are that. You are being selfish. So look for something to bring to the table. I was telling somebody. She said, ah, she, she can't cook like me. I say, yes, you can't cook like me. But there is something you can do that people will appreciate. Mm -hmm. There is something you can do. That people appreciate. It's not everybody that know how to cook. In as much as I encourage every lady to know how to cook, every guy learn how to cook. But some people might their cooking might not be their basic skill. No, their topmost skill. 
for me, that is it. Then if you tell me to come and wash, ha! Oh, even we wash it, Bishi, though. Even we wash it, Bishi, I will have to summon courage, gather momentum. But cook it, even if I'm there, boom! As far as the ingredient, there's a kitchen, there's everything I have cooked. But cook it, I have to summon courage. I have to cook first in my mind. I'll cook in my, uh, sorry, wash. I have to wash in my mind. Wash all the clothes, one by one in my mind. Before I come and wash them physically. So you see, there are some people. There are some people that are good at washing. I've seen somebody wash. She knows how to do. Wo give her all the clothes in the world. She will wash it. But kitchen, kitchen is like the. It's not like she doesn't know how to cook. Oh. Kitchen is like your your body she her. So you see, there are some persons that can organize. There are some persons that ah. We are having an occasion in the family. No, just leave her, leave her, leave her. She will organize it. She might not be there to cook. She might not be the one that will come and be sweeping. Of course, there are some things that, basic things you should know at least now, know how to sweep. Stand up from the dirty place and sweep. <laughs> but when they say, ah, organization, ah, call her. She's the one. You see, you have something to bring to the table. So young man, young lady, new wife, new husband, old wife, old husband, bring something to the table. Bring something to the table that when you leave, people will be like, ah, I miss you. When you leave, like, ah, that, hey, hey, we can't forget what, what you have, the impact you have made. The impact you have made in the family. Even witches and wizards, even evil people, they like people that can do something. Eh? Witches and wizards, they like people that can do something though. Ah, they are not, they don't like lazy people. If you don't know to fly away, they will just bring you. If you don't know to fly away, they recruit you. So nobody likes laziness. Even if that person is very wicked. But as far as you are meeting a need, as far as you're meeting a need, my dear, you've won the heart of your in-laws. <laughs> See, it might be difficult at the beginning, it might be difficult at the beginning, you might be struggling and struggling and struggling, especially there are some people that are very difficult to please. Yes, yeah, so it might be struggling and struggling and struggling. As far as that is who you are, that's why, that's why I said don't pretend. As far as that is who you are, you keep doing it. Me that love cooking, no matter how you talk down on me, I will stay at the kitchen and cook. Because I'm not cooking for you, I'm cooking because I like, I love how to cook. <laughs> I love to cook, sorry. I love to cook. I will just go and cook my food, but even if I'm angry, 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 I will stand up because I like to cook. So that's why I say, I said, don't, don't, don't pretend, don't, don't pretend. So first thing I said, prayer. Second thing, apply wisdom. In applying wisdom, don't pretend. Politely be expressive. Be expressive. There is no need to sit down and. Mm, mm. Mm, even as you're coming, there's no need to sit down. You know, they say something that you don't like. Mm, they say something that you like. Mm, you keep quiet. You say, ah, I don't want these people to see me as being rude. Though. No, being expressive is not. It does not equal to being rude. Some people are rude without being expressive. Do you know that? So being express. That's why I put. I, I put the uh, uh, adjective. Pol politely, politely, be polite when you're expressive. Do you get? And also to you that that is a daughter-in-law or a son-in-law that is the youngest. Of course, you need to you need to be polite now. <laughs> you need to be polite. You need to be polite. From there, you win the heart of your in-laws. That's wisdom. Then another point I want to make. The last point: love your in-laws. Kai, see, a love is not conditional. Love is not conditional, and love breaks walls. Love tear down tears down things that your attitude cannot tear. You see, being rude, being rude will even increase the amount. Of, maybe you're rude and say, ah, they want to tell, hey, they can't talk. Ah, ah, after I show them Pepe, they didn't come back again. Really? To what end? To what end? Love tears down barriers. Love is a weapon. So no matter how tough that person is, when you show that person genuine love, you know, the Bible even said it that for a husband, he talked about being a, in in a marriage setting. That the love of the wife can even change the husband. That is how strong love is. That is how strong the weapon of love is. Love your in-laws. No matter how difficult you think they will be. Love your in-laws. Buy them gifts. Ah, if you have the money, you feel your mother-in-law is the witch. Your mother-in-law, your prayer house is telling your mother-in-law is a witch. Auntie, 
buy her a gift. Your mother-in-law is a witch. Like seriously, she's the one that is killing you. Please go and look for who is killing you. <laughs> buy her a gift. Yes, yeah, she's giving you too tough time. Oh, she's not. She's not understanding. She's the, Go and buy her a gift. Order something. Surprise her this Valentine. Surprise her. See, that woman's blessing will work in your life. Oh. It will work in your life. Your father-in-law, it will work in your life because now you are connected to them. The same way your parents' blessing work, that's the same way your parents-in-law blessing will work because you're connected to them. You're married to their child. Do you get? So, and you and their child, they are one. So, whenever they pray for their child, they are praying for you. So, but if you separate yourself, by saying ah they are wicked they are this whenever they pray for a child it will work with their child it won't come to you do you understand or better it will not even work because something is holding it so please love them love your siblings in law your sisters in law love them they are making difficult life difficult for you love them pray for them love them pray for them with that you don't know you you are you are gaining you're gaining uh, 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 space in the spirit to inf have influence on them. So when you come, ah, they, you just don't know why they are liking you. But because genuinely you are showing them love. Genuinely you're praying for them. You're taking their matter on your head. So when they say something, something, something is wrong, you take it on your knees. You pray for them. You pray for them. So not because you are, you, 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 you know, why would I come? Do they think about me? Even if they don't think about you, think about them. That is what love entails. And please, 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 any discussion that is making you feel that in-laws are bad people, take it away. Take it away. Most times, those, those things are from the pit of hell to crash your marriage. To crash, you will never have peace. You will never have peace because when, when you want to go and see them, you, you cannot. So how would you relate? How will your children relate? How will they relate with their cousins? So please remove it from your mind. Because really, whatever you anticipate is what you will get. So by the time you hear it, you now bring up armor, you now start telling your children, don't talk to this one, don't talk to this one. You are creating a generational problem for yourself. And you will not die. You will live to see the problem that you've created. You won't die. You will need to see it. That your children will not have cousins because of the fights that you have brought up from nowhere. So please, please, please and please. These are the simplest way to handle your in-laws. In-laws are beautiful people. I have the best set of them. The best. The best. I love them. Any day, anytime. And if you're watching, I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, mm. My mommy love. I love her so much. Unfortunately, I don't have a father in law. <laughs> I love her so much. I'm not saying because I'm not saying this thing because eh, it's something that I just wake up in the morning and do. It's something that you deliberately do. I deliberately started doing it until it became part of me. I deliberately started doing it. Of course, we are humans. Even with your spouse, you will have rifts. You will have issues. So it's not one small issue that will make you to eh, 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 say or generalize that all mother-in-laws are witches and wizards and this and that and this and that. Do you understand? <laughs> so deliberately, if you're having issues with them, deliberately start praying for them. No matter how eh, 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 hot you are, no matter how how you know, you know, I don't know how offended you are, pray for them because when you pray for them, if you have a very good relationship with your in-laws now, you are creating a smooth, you are creating a smooth way for your children and their children. You might, you will not be here. We might not be here in the next hundred years if Christ tarries. Our children will continue our lineage. Do we want our children to start fighting over things because of the problem that we, we put on ourselves at the beginning? So please, be deliberate, be deliberate, be deliberate, pray for them, call them, chat them, even if they don't call you, even if they don't chat you, even if you people have been at loggerheads, start chatting them, like, ah, ah, when did this one start, eh, that is the new you, start chatting them, and you see the reward of loving people will get to you, God will bless you, and he will always make you a blessing to them, and make them a blessing to you, so please, please, and please, you are missing out on something if you feel your in-laws are terrible people. You are missing out on a whole lot. Loads of love, loads of attention, you're missing out. So please, the devil, of course, the devil wants you to always miss out. So, but God wants you to partake of love. God wants you to be loved and God wants you to love. It's not just your spouse. Everybody. So, 
the way your spouse loves you, uh, uh, your in-laws are backing you up, thinking about you, calling you, okay, what do you do? Hey, this one, how are you doing? What do you want? What do you need? That is love. That is what God wants. But the devil we, has messed up our mind, so we miss out on those things. And we just stay alone uh, like an island. I feel like our in-laws are terrible people. But hey, no. Okay? So God will help us, and God will bless us. So, I would like you to drop comments in the comment section on how best we can handle our in-laws. Yes, on how best we can handle our in-laws. And what do you think about what I've just said? Are you going to start doing them? Are you going to, you know, start implementing them? I just want to know. I just want to get our feedback. So, thank you for joining us today on Sundays with the Love Dispenser. We'll see you next week. Bye. We love you and happy Valentine in advance. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah.